career in technical education gives students the opportunity to learn skills that they can use on the job right out of high school. Skills such as welding, construction, pre-medical, nursing, culinary arts, photography, video production, and more. Discover the pathways that are open to you here at Dinuba High School. This class gives us a better look at a lot of the different animals you can see in the field of veterinarians and a better look at the systems and how their body works different than ours. I enjoy getting my hands on stuff and the, most, the learning opportunities that Mr. Brown provides us. Currently we're dissecting chicken intestines including the circulatory system and the digestive system. This class really opens up the field of veterinary medicine. It gives us a look at the systems again and really gives kids an idea of what it would be like to be in the shoes of a veterinarian. One of the challenges is like being able to open up to people in this type of field because it's a lot of talking and stuff. And the rewards is like, it's like a step towards college so it can help with your college a little bit. Um, I walked into this class very shy, so having to step up and um, be able to meet people and get hands-on with the digestive systems was a little tricky, but I'm glad that they pushed us to do that. The jobs and life skills I'm developing in this floral class is actually um, skills um, to, that you develop like to become a florist, basically. So you make like different bouquets and different arrangements. Because we do seasonal bouquets, which like Halloween, Christmas, and like the following. Like next, we're gonna do a bouquet of Valentine's to give out to the school, whoever wants to buy. And you just learn little skills, little by little, since it is a beginning floral class. But once you get into um, your second year of floral, it's like more advanced. So you get to do more professional stuff as a florist. What I enjoy is that it's a lot of hands-on so it helps you, it like teaches you how to do things. Like you're not just sitting there making someone else do it because everyone has their own task. So everyone's just doing their own things and you could help someone else. And it's really cool, like it's pretty nice to know like what you're doing. So ornamental horticulture um, is involved with a lot of plants, plant science. So we learn about the soil texture, soil types, uh, the different structures of soil. We also learn about insects, the different pests that can um, target different kinds of species of plants and which plants are more vulnerable to those type of, types of pests. And the first classes are OH. You take that as a, either a sophomore or a junior. And then the next class is landscape design. Uh, we get to see the different elements of plant science that most people don't get to see. A lot of people tend to overlook plant science because they're like, oh, plants, you know? But they're really interesting. And you get to see the different uh, levels of ornamental horticulture, the different processes that it takes in uh, landscape design. Um, and so it really gets out of your comfort zone because most people go into it without believing that they like plants, but they get out with that knowledge and they believe, they're like, oh wow, plants are actually really cool. My beginning photo class or my photo one class is they, they get to do art photos and family photos and senior photos and they learn about lighting and um, all the things that make a picture good. The advanced class, they get to get more into like the business side of it so they've already done an event and then right now they're going to be working with the community to make advertisements to give back to the community and then to you know put in their own portfolios and then they get to do an art show which that's really fun. Some of the job skills that I've been developing from this class would be how to be a photographer. There are lots of opportunities in this field, whether it's quinces, weddings, birthday parties, the number is endless. And life skills would definitely be learning how to work with people. Clients have to be comfortable with the photographer or else they're not gonna look comfortable in their pictures and that's very important. They're learning how to get certified for Photoshop so they could work with graphic design, they could work in advertising, uh, they could do side gigs as artists, wedding photographers. The average wedding photographer in a city 
If you're good, makes two hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, I can I can actually apply for a big corporate job like Just a Penny doing their magazines or like Zoomies or something big like that. And you having that that charisma and be like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go do it. Obviously, you're gonna get the job because you're coming out like very, very professional, and you want it, and you know your stuff. What I enjoy most about this class would definitely have to be the people and the teacher. It's one thing to take a class with a subject that you like, but when you're surrounded by people who also enjoy the same thing and are fun to be around, it just makes it so much better. It's not just a regular lecture classroom. There's a lot of activity, so that sets it apart. Creativity is really important. It's the way the world's going. You know, it's a it's a big profession to be able to work in graphics and you know, images and visuals, and so creativity is really important. My name is Robert Martin, and I teach uh, video broadcasting and video production here at the high school. In my classes, we do a weekly news broadcast that is put up on YouTube and is broadcast uh, during second period on Tuesdays. And really, that gives the students an opportunity to connect with um, the students on campus. Um, they'll produce news uh, stories, so recapping our sports and on-campus events. But also, they get to um, produce skits and really funny content that kind of just makes the, the campus come together and, uh, and feel like more of a community. Then I'm starting to have students um, work, with, um, work with people outside of campus or go and talk with local businesses, see if they need any promotional work. And really that's my goal for this class is to get students ready um, so that they know how to film and they know how to edit video in a way that can help them um, get jobs, whether or not they want to um, kind of branch out on their own and put their own con content on YouTube uh, or on on the internet, or maybe they want to work for a marketing company, or maybe they do want to work in journalism. Some of the expectations that I have for my students are that they um, that they come with an, an open mind and a willingness to learn. Um, there's a lot of technology that we use in my class. Um, there's a lot of, of responsibility because I'm sending students out on projects all the time. So I'm looking for students that are responsible, that are willing to work hard, um, that are willing to work together as a group. Um, there's a lot of, of collaboration and, and group work. And really, it's a lot of fun. Uh, my students enjoy coming together and working on projects that um, involve the entire class and where we take the best of everyone's ideas and we kind of put it out there. Um, so I'm really looking for a team player um, and, and students who are willing to, to work hard and work together. Well, to work with this um, pathway in game design, you have to take game design and advanced game design. The expectations that I expect from students is they have to be willing to step up and try to solve their problems. With game design, it's very detailed. So if something doesn't work, it is your job to go back and check your code and figure out what you have done. Biggest thing that I've learned here is mostly time management and especially critical thinking because we usually have to learn how to research on our own, work independently on our own so that if we are messing things up in our game or in our animations, then we have to learn how to you know, research by ourselves. We learn how to collaborate with our teammates, especially in us skilled kids, which we have to communicate with our teammates so that we can work efficiently and finish our game on time. Coding is extremely important. In fact, it's um, crucial to pretty much almost any major job and or um, career in this time period. Once they get that code after working on it, they're like, yes, it, it's a relief, it's uh, wonderful, they feel great about it when they do that. I am hoping, in fact, I have a couple of them that really want to go into game design and further their career. I want them to be able to take what they have learned on being able to detail their work um, and be critical of their work, which is critical thinking, so they can do better in school and or in the real life. This class really for forces you to take responsibility in your own hands. You have to research on your own, you have to check things on your own, you have to figure out things on your own. With small amounts of help from the teacher, but mainly it's all up to you to further what you want to do. My students are learning a lot of uh, responsibility. Uh, they're learning to work uh, with uh, their group. Um, they are um, developing their hard work ethics, I believe. Uh, they're 
One of the most important life skills that we get from this class is actually time management because that's a big part of the class because we need to be able to make sure that we can get orders out in a timely manner and also still keep quality. Teamwork is a huge part of my classroom and it is, uh, it's something that they, they develop here and they can use out in the real world. Um, whenever I speak to a professional out in the real world, I ask them, what's the one thing that you want my students to know uh, before you hire them? And they tell me teamwork, the ability to be able to work well together, to uh, listen to each other, to communicate, and to uh, be able to have the initiative to get things done um, individually and as a team. In this class, I'm learning how to work with others and how to, ex to experience that other people don't work the same, so you have to um, get the hang of other people's work. And I learned how to be dedicated to what you're doing, because if you don't love what you're doing, you won't have a good time at all. This class is really good because we have that hands-on experience. They literally do the things that you would do at a real restaurant. We take orders, they have to review the orders, they have to figure out what adjustments need to get made per order, and then they uh, prep the order and deliver it. So um, that's a lot of uh, hands-on work and a lot of the skills that we're learning, they're applied uh, within my classroom. I think the greatest rewards of the class is just being able to have this experience because it is very, um, it's very teaching and um, basically how the real world is. The goals that I have for my kids are to pass the Surf Safe certification. Um, Surf Safe certification will allow my students to uh, enter the workforce at the second level um, of jobs. So for example, one of my past students applied for a job at um, the cafeteria in, uh, at the school he's attending. And they looked at his his uh, surf safe certification and at his experience because we also do a lot of catering. Uh, and then they were amazed, first of all, that, they had, that he had that coming out of high school and they gave him the managerial position. So he was two steps above the other kids, uh, the other applicants, and he got a higher paying job because of it. I, I have seen a lot of my students do go and they work uh, in the fast food industry. Um, and for some of them, it's a stepping stone to, to actually owning their own business because a lot of them have expressed that they want to own their own business. Um, so it's, again, it's experience that they gain here. And then again, they gain it out in the, real, in the workforce as well. Uh, the life skills that I've developed in the Medical Academy as a fourth year is uh, time management. Time management is a really big part of your life, especially if you're a really involved and a busy person. And with these rigorous courses that the Medical Academy comes with, and sports and other extracurricular activities, time management is really important in high school. And I feel like the Medical Academy really prepares you for that, and which can really help you in college. Job and life skills that I've been developing in this program have definitely been uh, networking skills. Uh, a lot of students are very shy and they have a hard time communicating with others and I know that this program has helped me a lot with that since my second language is English and so I dropped my fear of public speaking and now I am able to communicate with others which is an essential skill for life that you will use in college and not just in college but in any other uh, aspect or any other uh, parts of your life. The rigorousness of all the courses is extremely high. I remember coming in my freshman year I was so stressed out. I tried to figure out like different study habits and I once I found my study habits everything was has been a breeze from then on. Everything else is just figuring out what works for you and then going with it. From freshman year all the way to senior year, you, you develop that group of friends within the Medical Academy. You develop that relationship with the teachers and all your classmates because all your classes, uh, all four years, will be interconnected within the Medical Academy. So you'll always have that same group of students, which is really amazing because it doesn't feel like you're, you can't talk to anyone. You have everyone to talk to here. And I feel like that's a really big part of, big part of uh, high school as many kids tend to be scared to express their feelings and not want to uh, be, go out and do what they want to do, but in the Medical Academy, everyone supports you in anything you want to do. 
So challenges can um, for me have been like maybe like too much um, <coughs> homework, but like that works out because with the homework you learn a lot about the medical field, and it's and if you're determined, you can do it. It is really a community where we are all reaching for the same goals and we're all helping each other. So in case someone doesn't know what to do for a certain homework or some certain project that we do we're always there for each other and we are there to guide each other so it is it really takes a bunch of stress out from our schedule and we are just able to communicate with each other better and the teachers are also very very friendly they become your friends so it is very it is amazing to have that support from them and they the drive that they have to see you want to succeed. It is very rewarding to have that. So as a junior as well as a senior, you get the chance to do in, to take part in internships with the athletic trainer as well as physical therapist at Pro PT. And then as a senior, you get to pick where you get to go. So you can either intern at the fire station, you can intern at a physical therapy office, you can intern at a, psych, uh, at a psychiatry office. The chances are completely endless and this is something that can open your eyes as to figuring out what you want to do and what you maybe don't want to do. Uh, my goal is to attend UCLA. Uh, my goal is to become a cardiac surgeon and I feel like the Medical Academy has really inspired me to do this as I was able to intern at Adventist Health and uh, foreshadow different nurses and different medical professionals and it has really inspired me to pursue something in the medical career. Over the summer of last year, I had an internship at Santa Maria Podiatry Clinic in which I was able to receive training for over 140 hours as a medical assistant. So I was able to teach patients about uh, some certain conditions that affect their feet and I was able to explain to them what causes them and how to get them better back to their health. So that prepared me for the career that I want to go to. I want to pursue a career in medicine as a registered nurse. And this internship allowed me to have that opportunity to put my skills into action in the work field. The greatest challenges have just been the work that comes with the Medical Academy, not only the classes, but the club HOSA. Uh, being involved in HOSA and being a vice president is really, it's really an amazing experience, but also comes with a lot of dedication and passion. Uh, without dedication and passion, you can't really get anywhere. You have to be dedicated to complete the work on time. Uh, me and three of the students were able to place top, uh, top five at state and the top ten at the international level. And I feel like it was a really amazing experience to do this and see what other states and other countries have that we, we also do here and what we can get from them. And then I was also able to attend a NAF Be Future Ready conference in New York where we were able to meet different business leaders all over the world, even the president of Lenovo. And then we were able to see where they come from and different students around us that also want to also pursue the same dream in their life. Competing at HOSA, um, I got seventh in the state for doing prepared speaking. So it does open up a lot of opportunities for you. At the end, the reward that you get is that you have all of these amazing skills that you're going to be using not just in college but in life, on life in general. And you're going to be able to just have a better sense of life and who you want to be. So in this class, um, Advanced Building, we're developing job skills for hands-on working and field working, such as um, metal working, um, factory working, anything that involves pretty much metal. The problem solving skills that we're picking up are a major part of this class. We have to figure out how to fix a weld that hasn't completely penetrated through, and or we have to fix a welding machine or fix a tool that we need to use, so it's pretty great. This class actually opens a lot of career opportunities because 
with the advantage of welding for two years in school and learning all the terminology and the symbols, you can go to a job site or go to a college and have a step ahead in the playing field. One of the bigger challenges definitely is keeping up with all of the learning and making sure that you have the right form and the right technique because if you don't have the right technique then your welds are going to mess up and then your piece is not going to work. So just being able to handle everything calmly and just work through the process. So in this class we develop um, job skills like learning to come to work on time, clocking in because we have to clock in. Uh, life skills we learn is how to manage our time, how to manage our money actually, and also how to um, interview for jobs because we do resume work. And anything else uh, our teachers always help us on. We're developing not only soft skills for uh, speech and uh, uh, internships, but we're also like building uh, hands-on skills when we're building the the, the skeleton of the whole house, you know, the basic things you need to build a house, you know, the basic things, if you have a family one day, you'll be able to know, you know how to work the plumbing, you know how to work the electricity, and so yeah. What I enjoy most about the class is that every day we get out to work and learn new things um, that are we're going to use in our real lives. Uh, something I learned that I found valuable was that we learned how to put together a resume uh, for our specific job that we're going to do, so later in life when it comes to it, we can use it. What I enjoy most about the class is the people that are in the class with you because they're on the same level with you. You get to almost create things that can help what you're building right now. So it builds friendships and it almost builds a family. Uh, I have a lot of career opportunities opening up to me. Uh, anything construction related, business related, or math, it could all help, but um, the skills we learn can be applied to anything. Uh, the greatest challenges were just starting to build the house, learning how to read the plans, and uh, learning all the new tools, and the greatest rewards was the fact that uh, in the end you can look out there and see that, say that you built that.